Hello everyone, David Lee here back with another video on a project-based learning and design thinking project. I hope you enjoy it. For this project, our second grade students were provided the following scenario. The leaders of a group have found new land and has been tasked to establish a community. They must decide where to build their community, ensure that their plans include the four key aspects of a community, to live, work, play, and solve problems, and make design solutions to problems their community may face that are caused by the land's fast and slow changes. Students were then introduced with this driving question that guided them throughout the project. How can we as community planners create a community that meets the needs of its members? The community planners created a proposal that included the following. A 3D model of the community using Minecraft Pocket Edition. Description of the community design that gives supportive reasons, facts, definitions, and a conclusion. A physical model that shows the different landforms and bodies of water in the region where the community would be established. And finally, design solutions that solve or reduce the impact of geological problems caused by the slow or fast land changes. To answer the driving question, students acquired the knowledge and skills from multiple subject areas. For social studies, students had to learn about the different types of communities and why people belong to them, how communities meet needs and solve problems, how groups of people can have an impact and help solve a problem in their community, and how these changes can have an impact for years to come. In geography, our second graders studied locations, places, distance, and scale. In science, students learned about the processes that shape the earth, events that occur quickly or slowly, such as the change of land by wind or water, as well as the different kinds of landforms and bodies of water in an area. Here are some of the learning activities. In engineering, students use the design thinking process to define a problem sentence, ideate multiple possible solutions, design prototypes, carry out tests, and identify failure points of their solutions to processes that shape the earth. In language arts, students read informational texts on the topic of community and learn to identify main ideas. And finally, for art, students learned how to create realistic landscape models using different materials and tools. At the end of their project, our community planners presented their proposal at the Elementary Expo, a public event where students showcased their work to peers, family, teachers, and community members. Well, that wraps up our video. Hope it has given you a glimpse of what is possible when incorporating project-based learning and design thinking into learning. I would like to give a special thanks to the following people for making this project happen. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you would enjoy content similar to this. Check out the description for more links and of course thank you so much for watching. See you next time.